This was full of art, technology, intelligence, um, early Mediterranean ships, single sails, flat open, pre-Renaissance. Oh, this is pre-Renaissance. Um, not stable and men-powered. Um, that was the early Mediterranean ship. Um, then we had the Caravel, which was Portuguese navigators of the 1400s. They had a deeper cargo ship, more stable, multi-sails, triangular sails. They were called lanteen sails, turn and catch wind, wind powder. Next, another invention we had was the astrolabe. Sorry, my nose really itches. <laughs> uh, was the astrolabe. Um, this was similar to a compass and it navigates the ocean. Um, then we had Portugal was the first to take lead in exploring the seas, had ocean access, but not. Mediterranean access, so it it wanted to not rely on others. So that's that was the Portugal people. Prince Henry was the first to explore. He was the school of exploration in Portugal. Portugal was the first to map the size of Africa. Sorry, I ran out of storage, but um. So yeah, so um. Prince Henry. Is, oh yeah. Prince Henry was the first to explore the school of exploration in Portugal. Portugal was the first to map the size of Africa because it was the first place they sailed to. Next, we have Bartholomeu Diaz, 1488, and he maps out the round African coastline. And then we have Vasco da Gama, 1498, who reaches India by rounding Africa. Okay. Um, Spanish was the next an exploration after Portugal. Um, King Ferdinand of Argon and Queen Isabel of Castile. Royal unification unifies Spain, which created power. Expel Muslims from Spain, which was Spanish Inquisition, and win the world for Christ. Um, they had a daughter, Catherine, who marries King Henry. And um, Christopher Columbus was from 1492. And he had three ships, the Galaga. Oh, wait, no. He had three ships. The Galaga, the Pinta. No. The Santa Maria, the Pinta, and the Santa Clara, or the Nina. And then he lands in the Bahamas, Taino. Then we have the Colombian Exchange, which was biological exchange of crops, disease, livestock, and it improved dietary habits on both sides along with longevity of life. Um, the Treaty of Dorsai, Dorsilis, Dorsai, was 1494, and it was an imaginary line, and then east of the line was Portugal west of the line was Spain, and the better end of the deal was to get to claim more land. Next, we go into the Protestant Reformation. Um, Martin Luther was one of the leaders of this. He was from Germany, um, and he invented Lutherism, which is a form of Christianity. He nailed um, 15, in 1517, the list of 95 theses to the Catholic Church doors. Next, in the Protestant Reformation, we have Pope Leo X. He was an ex-Lutheran, um, and he told people that they needed indulgences because he wanted money. Money, money, money. Indulgences were things like if you sinned, you would pay the church. King Henry the Eighth, and he couldn't get divorced, so he broke away from the Catholic Church. Um, and if you don't like soft-spoken, I'll say it again. King Henry the Eighth couldn't get divorced, so he broke away from the Catholic Church because he wanted to divorce. He married Catherine of Aragon, his brother's wife. Mary. And then he 
associated with this would be Henry Hudson sailed up to the Hudson River and found New Netherlands for Dutch and then traded with the natives and had a strong relationship 